Yeah, I got some shit I want to play for you uh, now. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all making me get the itch again, man. Yeah, relax. No, nah, they giving me the itch. Press record of this guy. <laughs> said, oh, my goodness gracious. They giving me the itch again. You heard what that nigga said? You heard what he said to him now? I heard you was with the Neptunes. I got some shit I want to play for you. No, see, this is why I'm so detached from this shit, right? That nigga Ferg said, what you doing later? Maxo said nothing. I thought that meant fuck shit was on that the way. Yeah, I thought yeah, that we yeah, was yeah. in the strip club. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. we was outside. Yeah, these niggas working. I thought that nigga some Ferg young, said, rich bullshit. Ooh, yeah. you, got us. you free for the studio later? <laughs> what? You got to applaud that. Nah, no, nigga, you have to. You got to nah, applaud nah, that. Nigga, round of a fucking applause to the young niggas fighting the temptation of partying in the street. Niggas want to get money. You know what that reminded yes. me of? Remember when we talk about the Kobe shit? Yeah, we talking about how players say, "Yo, I'm going to the club." No, 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 no. Say, Yo, I'm going to the club. Kobe I'm going said, to work. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to put this work in. Yeah, that's hard. That was dope. That's very yeah, dope. That, was, that dope. was dope. I still um, might stop by Starless now. No, but I was about to say, <laughs> this New York nigga shit closed at four thirty. They could go get no? in the both. I was supposed to go last night, but I ain't go. You never been in uh, your life. I've been to seeing CD in the Bronx. Mm. You don't want to go on a Thursday night anyway. You good. You ain't missing right, nothing on right, a Thursday right. night. Since sitting in the Bronx, you was moving around out here back then? Yeah, I had so my so my ex used to work there. She was a um bartender. You was fucking the bartender yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah, then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I'm the fattest six years <laughs> nigga. I was Hey, so talk, he was out there with look, us. Look, look, talk your nah, shit. Nah, so he was out he there was with out us. There. He was fucking bartenders back then in Sin City. Sin City no, closed for a few years. No, he said my girl was a bartender back yeah. then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my girl they was a bartender. bartender. I was out yeah. there. All right, well, you keep that name. But back. I have a new relationship, you know what I'm saying? And I have a new daughter with my new girlfriend. Congratulations. You know, hey, congratulations. Oh, you signed the paper. Yeah, no, you panned it. Well, you you panned the paper. Yeah, I hear him. His girl wrote this out for him to read on, <laughs> read on the press room. Yo, I hate when they make us do that, right? <laughs> like that, though. Yo, he, he do quickly, it, though. Look, he quickly right, covered he, that he up. Got whoa, it whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we ain't even introduced this shit. He got that and I got a new relationship. I love her. My Yo. New, you said new daughter? Yes. Daughter. Congratulations. Congratulations. How new? How old? Um... October 2nd. So what's today? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. New, new, new. Oh, nah. new. Damn. What's Where's today? That? 20 something? 20 days old. Wait. Oh, brand new. Brand new. Three Thank weeks. You. Congratulations. Almost, yeah, congratulations. And you out here on tour, my nigga? That's, oh, you trying to get that bag. Yeah. They, I need the bag. Yeah. No, no, I get it. 20 days oh, old. Is this, yeah, your, you is this your first child? First child. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, no, come on, man. Dude. Congratulations. Come man. on, man. That's wow. Dope. Wow. All right. Tough question coming up. You was there? You was there for the birth? Yes. Talk to me about it. Let me hear it. It's crazy, like, how it come out and the head be cone. That both- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at her crazy. I'm like, hey, I'm looking what at you her. on Adderall or something? <laughs> <laughs> what you on? I'm like, what's wrong with my baby? I'm like, <laughs> it's horrible, though. You feel me? Hey, yo. You don't, if you don't know, you don't expect it. Like, <laughs> Dog, I know. Once it heal up, I'm going to come in I'm with that same mentality, like, he did all that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a beautiful experience, though. I ain't going to hold you like, for sure, for sure. But that oh, shit was crazy. Man. <laughs> so Yo, look at his face. This guy is good. Yo, yeah. this guy is good yeah. at this. So listen to this. So what I'm saying now is, what, what I'm hearing from you is, you witnessing the birth, did it psychologically affect how you was... Intimate with your with your queen at the time because you seen kind of shit. this like that happen. <laughs> I mean, not well, she mean, it was just or, crazy. Or, or it was like we gonna wait eight weeks that the doctor talking about, <laughs> and I'm right, right, I'm right back to work. I'm right back to work. <laughs> fam, he ain't get to yet. Hey, fam, she's three weeks oh, wait, yeah, she's days, done. He's done. Nigga. He's done. He's done. He's done. Oh, she's three days. weeks old. Oh, now they still yeah. got three, he old, done three right four more now. weeks to go. Yeah, and yeah. you go on tour. That's the last thing on. That's why I said. That's, that's a secure woman. You getting that bad? That is a nah, secure woman. Or she on his head on the phone on the text. She's on my. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you see, he Yo, opened you up with. That, no, you stay on our heads too. No, we know. Right, right, we right, there. Right. Listen, listen. Mine turned two in January. She turns two this January. Yo, that nigga so, opened. She up. been on my head since. Okay, She's still on my head. Four soon. Yeah, we there. It don't leave. Yeah, yeah. Get used to this. This is it. But wow, wait a minute, man. You are so blessed. You are so dope. blessed no, for your first child. You kind of had a clear vision of what your path should be. Right, 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 right. It wasn't juggling. And that's why right. I have a, the, the, the baby and then the album drop a couple weeks later? No, that's, that's crazy. Sick. That's yeah. dope. That is dope. <laughs> that's sick. 
Do she realize how sick that is? How beautiful that, or, or what that means just to you as an artist or dad, black man? Like after the hormones, yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't get past. We ain't get past the hormones yet. That's what like consumers don't think about because they consumers. So you only think about like the top rappers in the world and shit. But I was a rapper. So I went to Vegas during an all-star weekend and Slim Thug was in the, con- in the casino too. C- good luck. <laughs> See, that don't mean nothing to nobody. Because... A New Yorker don't Who mean knows? Yeah. Slim Thug. Nigga, six, 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 seven. <laughs> With hits. Braids, yeah, yeah. records, hove on the track, mm-hmm. dressed right in the casino. Nigga, move. I thought Dave East was an issue. <laughs> <laughs> not only did not only did you know at that time that all the fine women were in Houston, but this is why I hated on y'all. What's up? Texas is big enough and was big enough and has always been big enough for our artists to pop in only Texas and be perfectly mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Man, I was jealous. Mike Jones. I was jealous. I'll be honest with you. Million dollar chicken market. Yes, sir. For sure. Yes, sir. What y'all did out there, it took me a minute to understand it. It took me a minute to really comprehend what it was. But Texas niggas didn't care about nothing else. Mm -mm. For me, that was the difference between Texas and Atlanta. Like, Atlanta always seemed like they cared about what New York thought. Texas didn't care. Oh, y'all don't get the slow slow shit? (laughs) All right. Screw up. Y'all don't get the grills? All right. The rims, the cars. Like, that's dope. That's dope for y'all. Nah, Texas always been unapologetically Texas. Wherever we go. The 84 Swingers. The way we talk, the grills, women, all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you say, you got Slim Thug. Shout out Sugar Daddy Slim. Whatever he was doing back in the day, he's doing to this day. Still balling when the new cars pop out. We putting out Lambos and shit. He right there. You know what I'm saying? Doing that shit too. Then, you know, you got Pimp C. R.P. the great Pimp C. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like Maybe that's, that's the other thing because Houston's been cemented for longer. Like Pimp C. Then, then Atlanta. Bun B. Like. Well, is that what you're comparing it to? Yeah. I'm not comparing. Uh-oh. I'm just saying when they made when when we out here mm-hmm. knew that was from early on. It wasn't the 2000s. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I was so mad at Mike Jones too with that phone number shit, man. Arguably the greatest rollout in the history of rollout. <laughs> For real. That's oh, my fault, you know? huh? That's my phone. That's your phone. You was in there. You did that. You came up with that. No, nah, what you did, man. Hold up. This. No, 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 no. I just want to hear that because that's hip hop history, and then we getting back to Maxo. But I do need to hear what you had. That is arguably right, so the I'm greatest saying, rollout so camera, so, in hip hop no, history. Fuck the camera. I want to be. Hey, round of applause for Jay Graham. Yeah, round of applause. Hold on, round of applause for Jay Graham. Round of applause for Jay Graham. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's fancy football royalty right there. Yeah. Um, no, we used to take Mike's phone out. Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero phone. We would put it was Nextel. You put it on the table. You would turn it on, and it would ring for an hour straight till the battery died. Really? We'd go around market to market and show people how crazy this shit was. It was real. I packed the t-shirts away today because I'm moving. Still got them. Wow. With the phone number on them. Yeah. yeah. And the Paul Wall shirt. I don't think none of them was smart enough to know how that was going to work. Can I, I go now? Can I yeah. Go? yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that. Who the fuck knew that that would do that? That was different. It could have been a like, oh shit, this is no, happening. Mike, Let's Mike, capitalize Mike, on it. Mike gets the credit though. Yo, Mike. you know how many of us, yo, it's still being mimicked to this day. Where niggas are trying to come up with a little burner phone with their yeah, phone yeah. number. Oh, the fans call me, nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, no, that ain't you. But even when I was seeing you, didn't tell me exactly what I was looking to know. So I couldn't be happier that you're seated here. Because I got mad questions. Facts. Anything you don't want to answer, you don't have to. You started when? I probably started rapping for real, for real, 2010. Y'all yeah, going to say 2020. I mean, yeah. 2010. You was 20 years old. Yeah, I was 20. Facts. 2010. 20 years old. Your lifestyle is what at this point? You don't have no kids at this point. I got a kid. Well, you did have a kid. Oh, so you're not your first kid. No. No, he's not. I'm back then. Back then, 20 years old, ball, ball, ball. no ball, 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 deal. I just started rapping. No, we good. Yeah, nah, facts. But yeah, no kids. Um, I had a click of niggas under me. Like a hundred niggas on the running around H Town, fucking up shit. I'm doing math. Wait, stop, stop. Let me, let me come in. Well, this is good. <laughs> you're 30. Facts. 10 years ago, you was 20. Right. You had a hundred niggas under you at 20. Right. Facts. Probably more. So 
גם שאין אף אחד. לא לוק את פייס, לוק את פייס. נא, אין זה אינון. נא, לג'יט. באיזה אינון, אין. אורייט. So where rap coming to play? Yeah, we're, yeah. Where rap coming? All right, so rap coming to play. We always faked rap. Like, when like, I was eight years old, me and my little brother, my little cousin, you know what I'm saying, RP my brother, we used to motherfucking, we wanted to be motherfucking rappers, wrestlers, NBA players. Like, we thought we were going to do all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Around 05, life really hit for me. That's when Katrina hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when I'm jumping off the porch. That's when I see my first AK-47. Cause like around that time we were just walking around with like 380 high points. If you know, you know. That's a starter pack gun that's gonna jam on time out. shit like you that. You said in 05. 05, oh, 15. Walking around with a 380 day. 380. But why did you feel like, like that, that? But but did Katrina have any relation to why you felt like you needed that at the time? It was just, it was, let me say, it, like I was into sales. You know what I'm saying? And the kind Got of it. sales I was into, I had to protect myself. Mm-hmm. Say less. Got it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like around that time, like Houston just, it just really changed. Like, you know what I'm saying? And plus, like, just like my lifestyle, like, my whole life, like, well, I don't say whole life, like, from, <laughs> I was born to the age of 11, I had a silver spoon, because my dad was a getting money nigga. You know mm. what I'm saying? At the age of 11, that's when the laws came kicking the door, and I figured out what the fuck my daddy really did. Because, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, we black, you know what's going inside, like, inside the black household, mm-hmm. Kid got to stay in the child's place. Like when the grown right. folks eat. Especially in the right. South. You, you sit over there. The Especially right. in the South. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You don't question nothing they do. You know what I'm saying? And back in the day, it was like, you know what I'm saying? You fuck up. Your mama could whoop you. Your auntie could whoop you. All that. You know what I'm saying? Neighbor. Like, Miss yeah. Johnny yeah. whooped me. You know what's going on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I never really knew. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole lifestyle that they like, that I got from the street and what came with the streets, I was never raised like that. My got people it. didn't want me to see that, but it happened because how it unfolded. You That's know what important. I'm saying? So from there, you know what I'm saying? Feds come grab my dad, so now I know what he into. Mm-hmm. So I go from like Little Lee, Chuck E. Cheese to like on the block. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because now we lose the house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We lose all that. Like, when the feds come take that shit. So we got to go back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I, I literally go from Little Lee, Chuck E. Cheese to like gang banging and. Wait, because what's supposed to happen drugs? to the family when the feds take the house? I never thought about that. You fend for yourself yeah, the way you got to start over. Yeah. That's, that's just it. Yeah. That's, yeah. Luckily, you lucky if some money stashed somewhere where they can't get it. Got it. They can't seize it. Sure enough, yeah, listen. Yeah. Got it. You know what I'm saying? But all that shit, man, you look at that shit public records, that's just, that's in the past. You know what I'm saying? My my father, he just, um he been out like a year now. You know what I'm saying? So Congrats. shit. Oh, congratulations. He doing better. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But just with that, like, so like, you know, I'm in the streets, God damn it. Then like, I still come from the, like, I come from the area, like, we used to go outside and play. Like, I don't even punch in the face. I don't push niggas. We don't stole bikes. Oh, like, we talk about that all the time. Yeah. Soft, man. All like, the time. And like, you know what I'm Bring saying? I feel back. like, I really feel like I'm at the age that bridge the gap from niggas like you mm-hmm. to these other niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To the younger 30, niggas. 30, 31. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Because right. I seen mm-hmm. both sides. I didn't have a cell phone to goddamn, I was 16. Mm-hmm. Like shit. We they was growing up with them now. was word of mouth. You got to pull up. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't even have apps on it. We had a Boost Mobile Church. <laughs> you feel me? Back in the day type shit. So you know what I'm saying? Just running wild and shit like that and I got tired of like going to jail going to doing dumb shit like I was like man let me get this rap shit to try I done gave everything else to try wait so when did jail come into play you go to jail at what age like uh 20 okay 20 hell yeah not a long time I ain't never did no prison time Dumb, you know what I'm saying it's like a little bit like 6 months like it's like long mm-hmm. as but shit that 6 months straight my ass up nigga 6 that's days out straight man. sometimes nah, that's all it takes took, <laughs> me, took, took me 6 hours Look, 6 days out four, 4 hours too long too why you ain't bail me out sooner than this <laughs> <Yeah>. bitch <laughs> word okay so, go to jail so you start time. writing in jail but wait we providing before that I just want to get a clear picture for so for so dad leaves we figure out what is going on with dad now we hit a block as the provider I'm providing. My mindset has changed. Here. Right. So look, let me fill in the gap. So cool. My dad leave. He come back around to Katrina town. You know what I'm saying? From that time, I'm already full-fledged in the streets. You know what I'm saying? He come back. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I I ain't gonna say I dropped out of high school, but I was going to a lot of alternative schools. I ain't give a fuck about school because I was looking for that like shit. Mm. I needed money. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like We wasn't getting no lunch money allowance and shit like that. You had to get it on your own. Until my dad came back. Like he came back, I'm 15. We bumping heads because I'm Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? And like, when you Nigerian, like your father, like, that's like the dominant. That's like the alpha male. It's king. 
that's how it was when I was little. But then when I figure out everything you filtering me, like you telling me is lies and shit like that, then now you get on 15 years old. I'm like, you know, in Texas, we big. We big football playing country ass niggas. So I'm upside. So all that screaming and shit that you yeah, thought you was doing back when I was no little more. nigga, you done got me fucked up. I don't work no more. Shootouts, all kind of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I, I always respected him, no matter what he did in the streets, he never put that on his family. He never wanted us to see that shit. And then he got me back right. You feel me? He got me back right, got me back in high school. So now it's my senior year. You know what I'm saying? I switched up all that shit. The feds come kicking the house again. Now at senior this Senior year high school. Senior year. I was got 17. It. So at this time. But this for you or him? Huh? It's for him. Not, not for him. You know what I'm saying? He said he back in school. He right. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Oh, he right. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. boom. They come in for him, but I'm junior. I'm M.A. Quantum, eBay, or Google, Sonny Biosa, junior. Got it. So now, now the first time they came, you know what I'm saying? They put all the kids in the room, put my mom in the room. Put them in handcuffs while they search the room. Anybody that had their house raided, they fuck up your shit. Tear your shit up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, that was like around the time, like, the first time was like around September 11th. Second time was in 07. So now I'm older. Now I'm of age. I get it. I see how the police, we got the same name. But they know who the fuck they came there from. They got me handcuffed too. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm in there working. Like, you know what I'm saying? My dad got out. He got me off the block. He got back to his shit. Junior high school handcuffing you too. You feel me? So shit. They stole my Aqua 8 money. I'm a sneakerhead. I had the $200 <laughs> under my shit. That was my first fuck the police <laughs> moment, my nigga. They like, stole my nigga Aqua had. 8 money. He remember that shit like both. yesterday, dog. I can see if I was still trapping, but when my dad come, like I said, Alpha Man, he shut that shit down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, nigga, I'm working at Panera Bread because I got in a fight at school. And I had to get the goddamn job for probation. So, you mean tell me I'm washing these dishes, kissing these white... No, no offense. The, the, white folks, we doing we all here, that shit. Here, you feel me, my nigga? For you to come take my shit, that was my first real fuck the police moment. You know, and then they just showed me like, man, no matter what you do in this damn country, just do you. So when that shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm 17. I'm a real man. I thought I was a man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now, now I you really got to provide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you. Like that. So you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my hustling shit, but I'm at my mama house. It, like, like, it's a contradiction because she need money for rent. But every time I'm serving, she comes stopping. Or like she taking my dope and telling me like- we don't want that money. Mm-hmm. And we don't want you getting it that mm-hmm. way. But yeah, right. we still need the money for bills. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so what I did for him, I graduated high school. I know y'all probably say it's for me, but it's really for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I do that shit and I move myself out. You know what I'm saying? Now, while all that shit going on, like I'm telling you, like I got 100 niggas under me. I started to click. You know what I'm saying? I started clicking in 07 because- I've been game banging, you know what I'm saying? This and I've been banging since 03, since I was 13. But I never seen nothing come with that shit. I seen a lot of false advertisement, a lot of big homies putting you on shit that they wouldn't do. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to crash nigga out. So I started my own clique. I don't care about no goddamn game. We got Chris Bloods, all that shit. Supposed to be some fly shit. But being a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, as y'all see with all these artists when they turn 18 and they rapping, y'all think every young artist is just dumb and retarded. Well, if I would have started, like, if I would have popped off when I was 20, I would have been in the tabloids like saying how young boy and all these catching them cases mm-hmm. that was going on. All that click beep going back and forth, tired of going to jail and shit. I'm like, you know what? I done tried everything. Let me well, get yeah, to the rap try. shit. What right. year is this now? Because I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm only thinking because I recently went to my old hood and they was right. telling me about what was going on out there. I don't need to talk about it. Right. And basically that was what was being, the subgenres is what was being explained to me and taught to me. Right. Like, yeah, it's this gang, but it's this. So now you saying that was the that, mentality back then at whatever year this 07, was. 2007. Listen to that. That's interesting to me. That's uh-huh. the gang niggas now being being the independent forward thinkers saying, hey, this, not all this, of this, them. This shit. I'm just saying the ones that. that did right. that. No, but he was unique that, in that. He peeped that. Well, he was these u- old head niggas well, really just want unique. you to be their crash if, dummy, so I'm going to go over here and do something But if something he was else. unique and started that there in 07, shit, the internet was popping and, and got popping in 2010. If a nigga was over there and seen him doing that, then I might want to try it over here and over here, and now you have it. Now we got some genres. We in Jersey City, we in Newark, we in Houston, we we out. And then or look, I ain't prison. gonna lie. I ain't prison. gonna hold you. I think the internet has some in prison. Cool with it. Prison. Oh, yeah, in prison. Niggas go to jail, in you prison. meet a nigga from over here, they doing in this. Prison. I'm gonna come back to my hood and start that same shit that they was doing over here. Listen, that's how it get weird. Cause I came up, my nephew's over here. Mm-hmm. I mean my uncle's over here, my dad mm-hmm. is over here, my young boys is over here. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. 
Yo, now I'm fly with this, but I rep this. Mm-hmm. It ain't my business, so I stay out of it, but it's intriguing right, to me. Right, right, right. Hell yeah. I, think, I mean, shit, that shit could be... I feel like shit really changed, I'm going to say, like around 06, 07, because that's when the internet really came out. Because before that, like, a lot of these kids, you be saying, thank you. You be saying everything they go down with them, it be a lot of internet. Back when I was on the block, it wasn't no internet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We on the block, we we really outside, we next till church. I didn't even have a phone at the time. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't get my first social media until I was like 16. It was my space. You know what I'm saying? So I really come from that being on the block type shit, and I come from the internet generation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're probably the last that's generation the of people that grew right. up without yeah. the internet. Well, some, everybody the under them, they had the phone that's, since yeah. fucking six, seven years old. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Sam, so to what he's saying, when we was outside, it was cell phones outside. I mean, not cell phones, it's pay phones. Yeah. You had to go to a pay phone. Thanks. You be outside, girls will call a pay phone. Like, can I speak to such? Like, you was outside all day, and your girls knew the pay phone number in your hood. I ain't going to turn this into that, but, but this yeah. is what makes me mad at the record labels. Because before he even thought about being a rapper, he was, attra- or he was attractive to record labels. <laughs> yeah. He fit the mold that was influential and influenceable to the other kids. Yeah. That's real. That's nice. They want to be you. It's the same way the girls like power they, and respect exactly. and... Money, but the record you, labels like it you too. from Houston, <laughs> so you was looking up the face. You was them niggas was God to you. Yeah, but see, at the same time though, you gotta think about like, yeah, I grew up on that facts. You know what I'm saying? I, but like more like I'm like I'm gonna say like Paul Wall coming in there, Slim Thug, look, look. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you're not that old. UGK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like my older brother, he teens older than me. Now like, he was a DJ, Screw Scarface, yeah. Ghetto Boy, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. that time. whole thing. But like shit, even that, like you know what I'm saying? Like I had a lot of influence because I stayed by the flea market. We was going there. We used to steal the fight videos, the smack DVDs. Then, like, that's how I'm getting, like, into, like, okay, Cassidy, Pat Poos, Reed Dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, really around that time, I'm really getting into music because that's when 50 Cent come out. Like, when 50 Cent come out, I thought it was him. I thought it was the hardest <laughs> nigga in the earth. Then, <laughs> then when the game came out and went against 50, I'm dissing 50. <laughs> like, on some shit. We were there. I crossed the street. <laughs> I don't play around. You see a whole bunch of niggas coming in all black, 100 deep. For yeah. me in my life, you know what? If it's I nice see a hundred niggas, it's a cute girl over me, there. There's probably I'm a, I'm a, four of them that don't like Joe Budden. Right, at least four. <laughs> I said true. something about it. Four, four, some four. Hey, That's the whole crew number. can be cool, but four of these niggas is going to have to get it on in here. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead. Yeah, I'm a, and we got a cracking? For shit show. <laughs> For shit show. <laughs> For shit show. No doubt about it. Oh, well, I'm glad y'all squashed that. Yeah. I'm glad y'all. Shout out. I mean, I like that. I like the squashing of it. Did you go back to South by after that? Hell yeah. I went back and I ended up. <laughs> <laughs> that year we chilling though. I'm chilling my nigga around like, look, bro, we on certain shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got pay oh, yeah. to fort shit. We you can't be out here looking to crazy. Calm niggas down yeah. is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but shit, they ain't work with yeah. you. <laughs> I ain't going to say who. <laughs> we end up beating up a rapper, stripping them, taking his shoes and shit like that. But then at this point. But why what the rapper did? It was beef before y'all got there. I'm going to tell you, man, niggas know what happened, bro. I can tell. All right, I'm going to talk about it. Fuck it. Y'all know from Inglewood. Blood used to rap. I don't, but I'm listening. All right. So he was signed with um DJ Drumming Up with Uzi. The whole okay. little, um, what's that shit called? The new shit, that Generation Now? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just mm-hmm. watched that shit too now. But look, so boom, I'm going on stage. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going on stage. I'm waking up. I'm... I'm on Molly all night. One thing about South by you gonna be thugging all night. It's hella yeah. bitches. You gonna have fun. We're thugging. It's like it's, it's spring break too now. Yeah, it is. So like I'm coming off the Molly. I'm all jittery. I'm whatever. I'm walking to the stage. It's a nigga arguing with security. And then I was cool with too because he fucking with my music. But I knew him from having braids. Nigga mm-hmm. got dreadlocks now. He arguing with security. I ain't know it's him. So I'm trying to get on stage. Nigga arguing with security. I'm like man, I move him out the way. He ain't bitch ass nigga with the room. I know what you mean, bitch ass nigga. But but I got it in my head at this time, like, look, I'm not about to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fuck up no more shows. You ruined South by last year. But, but here come Lyndon. But, 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 <laughs> but you so look, I go homies, I do though. so look, I go on stage, I do my shit. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm walking on stage after me, it's little Uzi. Mm. I see Uzi. He dab me up. He hey Max, so you got to with, with my brother? I'm like, who your brother? I'm like, Go to my phone, like that nigga text me two weeks ago telling me he gonna be down in Texas. Fuck with him. Right. 
So I'm like, oh, that's tripping. So I walk up to him, I'm like, hey, bro, my bad, bro. I ain't know that was you. You know what I'm saying? What's good? But he on some shit like, nah, who you calling a bitch ass nigga, blood? Oh. And my niggas hear that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hold on, bro. Watch how you handle me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm gonna be real. I try to be the bigger man. You know As what well, I'm saying? You should be. I was on some probation shit at the time, try to be the bigger man, but my niggas is not the bigger man. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga Dunt Trey looked, he like, hey, hey, look at Toby. Maxo got his check. Yeah. Boop. Get him. <laughs> Crack it off. That shit, I'm like. You know it is what it is. No but more South by Southwest for <laughs> for Max. So let's put that down. No, I Shout mean, out though, because after that, I seen him in LA. We got the shit resolved. You know what I'm saying? Shit thank like God. that. You know good. what I'm saying? Thank That's God. Good. Round of, let me get the round of applause. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Squashing It. Shout out to Maxo Cream's conflict resolution team <laughs> uh, for their efficient work. Got to the bottom of things rather quickly. That's the shit that be confusing us as old niggas. Mm -hmm. Yep. That yeah. comes from not having to deal with consequences. It's not even that, though, my nigga. You know what happens? World star fucked everything up. So if you a quote-unquote celebrity, you a rapper, you a whatever, niggas are scared to take an ass whooping because a nigga going to pull a camera out. We come from the generation where we could go around the corner and shoot a fair one. You got it off. Now, these niggas get their ass whooped. It's on camera on 50,000... Uh, blog sites it's all over the world so they have rather that, that embarrassment some niggas can't never come back from yeah that, that might end that, 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 that could end little kids yeah that could literally that's end your them. image that yeah. was a lesson that I learned in rap beefing like being the guy that's not trying to take it to another level I want you to rap and I want me to rap and let's see who's better and I'm gonna call you out until you rap doing it that way I thought it was just competitive we rappers yeah. we grew up that way it took me doing it that a few times and a few of these <laughs> to learn, oh, me doing that jeopardizes y'all's like yeah. money, your career. And you can rap better than me? How yeah, I can't beat you in that nigga. I can't beat you there. How your fans, may, how you your fans about, may look at you, yeah. how your label may look at you. Like it affects so much. As a nigga that's just rapping, you might not know your power. Mm -hmm. But when you figure that part out, then you kind of understand why some of these niggas is willing to take it there yeah. over. No, you taped me getting punched in the face, nigga, I will kill you. Yeah. Yo, you fucking, uh, you fucking put it over here that this nigga fucked my girl, nigga, I will kill you. Y'all yeah. know, I watch the news every morning. It's on the news. No, It's that, on the news. shit is real. Yeah, it's on the they news. They come from a different generation. Like, yo, niggas getting their ass whipped when we was kids, that was part of growing up. It built character. Nigga, I, we fought every day. But why do you think the rappers won't fight, man? Is the fucking phones? Bro. I just like, told you. Fucking Jake Paul would do it. Why we can't do it? Nigga, Jake Paul got a bag, and Jake Paul is white. You think he ain't growing up in a inner a bag? Shit, I'll nigga. fight any rapper for a bag. I've been fighting for free my whole hey. fucking life. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, Man. these rappers will fight for a bag. <laughs> I, I tell you one thing: if I'm sitting on board on a Saturday night and somebody tell me Twenty One Savage is fighting, I'm paying sixty dollars. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's rappers I would pay to see. Get nah, to this, thanks. but whatever. We don't. We're not promoting. It's just they can't take the L of the peace, cameras, bro. Peace and unity here. So yeah, listen, this I is my you. this is my question for you. Because before you go, I have to ask. You brought this up off mic. Really interesting to me. Mad we didn't get to it sooner. <laughs> You're in a relationship and you right. have a new baby, right? But right, somehow right. you know that the New York women speak to men aggressively. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it. I dated two New York chicks. I dated one from motherfucking Dykeman, Washington Heights. They always Crazy. Oh, we know, we know. Straight yeah, to me no, every no. five minutes. No, we know. No, <laughs> Trust me. Yo, no, nigga, what you doing? I'll call your PO right now, my nigga. Oh, I know about my the case. God. Oh, that Jesus. Shit. And then I dated one from Pop Smoke Hood. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Well, you got the best of all worlds. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah, yeah. She a crip like I'm a crip. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But then. <laughs> Love wins. <laughs> Love <laughs> always wins. How y'all saying? Her body different. Like, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> like, like, hey. It was no breaking up with her. She talking about buck 50, snatching my chain. I, I, I. Then like they scream at you. Yo, I, I. They just disrespect I, 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 you hear me? I, I, in that hat, make you scream like, yo, what's up with you? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, I, like, I ain't, ain't going to hold you. Like, the first thing, like, you came up here and fell in love with a, a crip with a, a bad body. body like, was different. Yeah, you going to speed over that one. Then, like, 
She had a gun and everything. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, you can't break up? She was you can't aggressive. even break up? I don't lie, bro. I don't believe right now. I was about to call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to yell. So I'll tell you, look, you a gangster? You can't listen. Do not touch these women. Don't Yo, do that. Nah. Call the police on their ass. <laughs> do that no shit, man. They will fuck you over. Oh, man. Fuck oh, 12 bro. and this is her. That is oh, that's 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 You got to. Yo, know what? What else I'm going to do? No, no. It's a loser. You talking to niggas that yeah. understand. Yeah, that that type that'll come over. Yeah, yeah. Let me holler at you. Woo, woo. And s- s- sneak your chain. Then go into their block. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Come tap in, nigga. You heard? Yeah. We got your shit. Run that shit, nigga. <laughs> Yo, not yo the, how old? the girl tell yo, you yeah, come, that's tap, come tap in? <laughs> tap in, yeah. bitch ass nigga. Call you all type of names. That's hey, crazy. Yeah. But she, that's thank hilarious. God for my, you know what I'm saying, girlfriend now. She a blessing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yo, tap, tap in. Tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Candy Ray. No, I'm saying she a YouTuber Is she a gang too. member too? Hell nah, she a YouTuber. I ain't playing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. All right, all right good. Yo. All right, we oh, went to YouTube. That, that sounds safe for no, already. Yeah, it's super safe. Yeah. My yeah. lessons is blessed. Yeah. Go ahead and create some content, <laughs> goddamn. That's funny, for yo. Sure. That is hilarious. They learned him out of it. It's just good to hear a nigga that's not from here talk about the New York girl. I just don't want a buck fifty. I feel like it's more than that. Like, None of us. Don't do. make change with me. Yeah. No, don't make don't change, change with me. Don't make change. Like, fuck that shit. <laughs>